Mike Cohen for the Suburban Magazine, and I'm here with Kat Spencer, who uh, on Wednesday uh, began his new uh, radio life on the beat. Uh, so uh, first of all, Kat, tell me how excited are you to be uh, with this uh, brand new station? It is very, very exciting. Um, if I could mold the perfect radio station for me and what my family would listen to and my friends, this is it. And so I'm very, very excited about 925 The Beat and, of course, working with Sarah Bartok. The show is The Beat Breakfast with Kat and Sarah. And uh, I th hopefully you've all got to meet Sarah a bit over the last year or so, and she's just a great person to work with. So together, our chemistry is there. I think we have a perfect team. All across the board, the, the talent in this building is unbelievable. You uh, had a very successful career at uh, Mix 96 Virgin Radio. I'm sure you have nothing but good thoughts from your 17 years there. Yes, I left on very good terms. I still have a lot of friends there, and I, I do miss it, but uh, this is fun. There's some people calling it a radio war, but really, it's, it's really fun. And a friend of mine was just telling me who's in the business, saying, you know, it's not too often you can get excited and nervous about going to work every day no matter what job you do and we're all really excited and nervous about this new station that we're calling 925 The Beat and I think it's going to be great for the city and it make all the radio stations in the city really pull up their socks a bit and, and have some fun competition. Tell us how this all came about because last February we give the announcement Aaron Rand is leaving at the end of his before the end of his contract and then at the same time we we find out that Cat Spencer is leaving Virgin Radio um, and you still had uh, six months to go on your contract and then of course there was you said yeah you couldn't say anything we couldn't we didn't hear it this is the first time we're actually hearing from you so can you tell us now uh, how that all came about sure it's a common clause in, in a lot of business it's called a non-compete clause and I've always had that in my deal and what that does is prevent you from running across the street to another station and starting the next day so um, my old station had a clause saying, if you ever decide to leave, you have to give us six months notice. And that's what I did. And then from that day on, my boss at the old station has a choice. He can leave me on the air uh, or he can send me home uh, paid and saying, you're, uh, you're not allowed to work for six months. Or he could say, you know what, you're done and you can start your job next week. So they decided to keep me off the air until August 24th. And uh, I left on good terms. We all followed the rules, and, and that was the way it came. And, and the reason I decided to leave mainly was just um, they were, I felt, getting younger and edgier, and maybe they wanted us to be edgier. And I was sort of a family guy. I liked talking about my kids and, and more adult stuff, and this was the perfect, perfect radio station for me. So what kind of show can Montrealers expect from Cat and Sarah, uh, uh, the beat show on... Uh, on uh, the Beat Amor. Breakfast... With Kat and Sarah, the beat breakfast. Say it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna translate. I'm gonna practice it many many times. So the beat breakfast with Kat and Sarah. What kind of show can we expect? I'm still learning their phrasing too. Uh, from my point of view, you're not gonna hear anything different than what you know Kat Spencer as. There are gonna be no real big surprises, and I'm suddenly not gonna change or become a new person. I'm a family guy. But when I go home in the afternoon, it becomes all about family and feeding the kids. You're going to hear a lot of stories about my life. Uh, the best part is, if you go around the room in this studio, we have it all covered. It's amazing. You got Sarah, who has an amazing personality, but is single and dating. You've got uh, Natasha in traffic, who I think I can tell everyone is expecting a baby. So a new mom on the way over there. We've got Sean McMahon who's married with no kids but perhaps someday soon. He's got that angle covered and you've got Murray Sheriffs who has a teenage daughter. So if you look at that room, no matter what topic we throw out there, you know, back to school, everyone's going to have an opinion. And uh, that's why I think this show is going to be so successful. One final question. Tell us, what is the routine for a morning guy who lives in Candiac? You, you, what time do you get up in the morning? What time do you get into the studio? What time do you get home? Do you nap during the day? It's not an easy, easy routine. I think a lot of people are surprised at what time my alarm clock goes off, and it's never bothered me. I'm not complaining. If this is life. But my alarm goes off at 345 and I like to be at work around 4.30, quarter to five, sitting by myself for about half an hour, getting things straight. And then we bring the team in and we all sort of go through, just make sure we have a plan. Show starts at 
Uh, we're done at nine, and my friends say, oh, you only work three and a half hours. But we're usually here till about 11, making that plan for the next day. Mm -hmm. What did we miss? Should we talk about that? And going over the show too, and looking forward. I go home and I try and nap from one to 2.30. I have a special room in my basement that's completely dark. I choose to nap because by 3.30 my kids are home and I need that energy. So, and then I actually go to bed later than most people would think. I actually go to bed between 10.30 and 11. So I don't get a lot of sleep overnight, but that nap saves me. So it's, I'm, I'm really strict with my nap time. Don't interrupt my nap. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, we wish you the best of luck in your, in your new uh, career, uh, your new uh, place of work, and we'll look forward to listening to you. Thank you very much. Thanks for listening to The Beat.